All right, so a long overdue uh, wait. Well, I'm sure none of you are really waiting, but uh, I'm back for do some videos, some EDC stuff. Uh, had to get a few things straightened out. Uh, couldn't really concentrate on the channel. Uh, had to just kind of put it on the back burner, but uh, I'm back now. I have some new plans. Got some, uh, you know, unfortunately, those of you that stuck around um, know about the police thing. So, might as well get that out right away. I'm going to get the questions on it. So, basically, what I'm doing now is uh, going to college to get my degree. Um, I'm going to start that probably in the summer. Um, and get my degree in criminal trust, uh, justice, go down that road. Um, in between that time period and now, I'm going to do my Act 235, which is armed guard. Um, and then I also signed up for Fire Academy, so that's another thing I did. And I work at Coke, so um, I have a good job. I'm pretty, pretty well set off with that, even if all that doesn't work out. So either way... Um, also do the fitness thing and I have some things coming with that. I gained a ton of weight over the last few months. Uh, I've been working hard, working out. Going on like little hikes and stuff and um, my personal life has to do with like females kind of went a little south. So I had to deal with that. And uh, that's really it. Now I'm here and going to update. A lot of stuff's happened in the last, since I've been gone. I mean you had the Vegas shooting, and when that happened, I was like, I gotta do a video. And uh, I just didn't get to it. Um, I finally got a new phone to where I can record night a uh, little bit better. Half fast lighting. I still gotta fix the sound in here. It's like very echoey. I know, it's hardwood. I'm, uh, I plan on doing some things to that, but that's a later little project. But right now, I figured I'm gonna do a little test video. I did one. Yes, last night, but I was like, I I'm going to delete that video if you guys watched it, so that's why I'm doing this again. But uh, anyway, by the time this one's up, that one will be gone. Uh, it only has it's like under 100 views, so. Um, this is going to be your new EDC update for as far as like active shooters, trauma stuff, uh, and, and stuff like that. Because I upgraded my stuff and updated some things as far as to, to deal with that kind of thing. And uh you know, I think that a lot of people are probably landing on this video right now looking for ways to carry EDC stuff and a firearm and whatever else you may need in that situation. There are ways to do it if you're at like a concert venue or whatever. I have it set up for that. So uh, we might as well just get right into it uh, before I completely go sideways with this. Um, so the first thing you're going to want in an active shooter situation or whatever if you want to protect yourself from that is a trauma kit. Now, what I mean by trauma kit is not a few band-aids and, you know, the thing you pick up at CVS. Um, this is a, this is a trauma kit. I mean, this is for massive hemorrhaging, out of control bleeding. Um, and this is by VanQuest. This is their Fat Pack 5x8, I believe, or it might be the bigger one than that. I don't know. But it's designed to be ripped open with one hand. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, just first off on the outside you have a Gen 7 cat tourniquet. Um, it'll come right out of there. Alright, and when you're applying a tourniquet, you know, you want to put it <clears throat> like an inch above the wound if you can see it. If you don't know that the wound, you know, they have whatever on, maybe it's dark out, you just put it all the way as high as you can. But if you know that that's where the wound is, you know, it's here, and you don't know there's any farther stuff or whatever, you do know that there's not nothing else, then put it, you know, right above it, you know, slightly above the wound. So a tourniquet will save someone's life. Um, as you'll see, I have a few different tourniquets. Well, I have three, two different ones, but all over. So there's always one around. On this side, you'll have your medical shears. And, uh... Easy color coded thing. This doesn't come with it. I bought this separate. Um, yeah, you can dock a bigger one on there if you want to, so everybody knows this is medical. I keep this one on there so you know that there's medical in here, because there is one. This is not one that carries on the bag. This is this is too much to carry each day. 
This is like uh, a little overboard, if you may. Uh, but it's not when you think of, in a sense, anything could happen at any time, which it can. All right. Be careful where you buy these two, by the way. You can get fake ones on Amazon, and the fake ones ain't gonna work like a real one. Meaning they'll twist and twist and twist and actually pinch the artery to the bone. This thing, you'll turn the thing a couple of times and it's cut circulation. So, this is designed to pull one hand if you need to, uh, whatever, you know, your shot in your arm, whatever. Inside there, you're gonna have uh, another time. Tourniquet, a SWAT T, which you can use a com uh, compression bandage to. Then you're gonna have a chest seal and dressing, uh, just all different kind of trauma stuff. More gauze, uh, cell ox is in there for stab wounds. Very good for stab wounds. Um, hydrogen peroxide, which you know you're really not gonna need in a trauma situation, but if it's there and you have time, go for it. That's why this is good because it's designed to be open with one hand, deploy everything quickly. You know what I mean? Because in a trauma situation, you don't really have time to be fiddling around with stuff. So that's a trauma kit. And I keep that in my car. You know what I mean? That's just in my car. So if I'm out and there's a, a shooting and somebody starts shooting people and all, you know, whatever, there's people bleeding, I can, I can attend to at least a few people and at the very least myself if needed. If I don't, if it's very rare, my car is not around. Like when I go out, I plan for this stuff. Like if I'm gonna go out, like I make sure. You know what I mean? Like I'm checking exits, I'm checking ways out, I'm looking around. My eyes are constantly everywhere anymore. It's just like you just gotta be careful, and you gotta know. I mean, these people do this. They go, they go out and are oblivious. I mean, it's so hard though at a concert. That's such a crazy thing. But not to get on into all that. But this is, you know, why we do this. This is why EDC guys. This is why we prep. This is why we prepare. And um, hopefully we can uh, get the word out that you can. Do, there's things that are out there that can help you to an advantage. Now, like in that situation, he has every tactical advantage, but I have a little bit of advantage for myself too, not knowing that he's even there. So you know what I mean. Now this is more of a survival thing. This is in my car too. This is this is just in case like just shit just goes to hell. For some odd reason, I couldn't get to this, and here's this, but this will have a little bit of everything I need to get me home if I need to, and I'm like trapped somewhere or whatever. It's got some fire starting stuff, uh, a, a space, a blanket, which is very important if it's cold, a lighter, I mean, just uh, a fire starting thing. Just This is like a little mini survival kind of kit thing. <clears throat> One thing I do lack in my kit is a cooking setup um, but I'm not going to carry that EDC every day this is mainly like a get home bag slash EDC bag like it's my EDC but it's also my get home bag and I can make it more of a survival bag by molly and this stuff to the outside if I need to um, so also yeah so that's really it I have another medical kit in here but you'll see that that's more like an everyday boo-boo kit type thing um moving on to some things that i have that are new i have the vanquest wallet which i just got um it's got the rd if blocker to you know for credit card scanner things or whatever people that walk by they have that thing you won't be able to steal my information uh, i got this is new this is a sheaf for my Leatherman Surge, it's from Streets Leather. This is just an awesome custom job he did for me. Uh, I have my O light in there. I don't carry this thing every day, um, but I do carry it every day at work. So I do carry it every day. I carry it uh, five days a week, sometimes seven, if I'm working the weekends, which is a lot lately. Uh, I have a 12 gauge shell or uh, bullet thing. I, he put on there for me. It's just, it's starting to get some wear to it and stuff. I've been rocking it for a while now. It's got a little curve from where it goes. I keep it back here. And it's just, ah, got that genuine leather smell, man. It's freaking awesome. Then I keep this brass tool. 
little brass pry tool which I use a lot. It's got a little bottle opener on the end. Uh, then I have in there my Leatherman Surge. Every guy should have a Leatherman. I mean, if you're if you are a guy and you don't have a Leatherman, get one. <laughs> That's all I got to say. You need one. You you just even if you're just like you know you're not really into EDC stuff, you could keep one in your house. I mean, you have one of these things on you in your car, just wherever. You know, you don't have to carry it like I do. Trying to get everything to sit in there tightly. All right, um, and that's as far as like new stuff on my body. And like I said, the two pouches I showed you—they just stay in the car. Oh, the watch! The watch that I'm wearing for this is old school Casio G-Shock Dad's watch from the '80s. Except I just got it on Amazon for ten bucks. And then your G-Shock I try to wear a lot, which is sent to Clipper Compass. Hmm. Guns. The Glock 43. Safety checked for your safety and mine. <laughs> yeah, she's a nice. It's honestly probably the best concealed firearm you can own. As far as like single stack 9mm. If you're. I don't know. That's my opinion. I love this gun. It's just so easy to conceal and carry, and it's just. It's nice. I have some upgrades on this thing. Um, you can look in the video if you want for it back. It's in there somewhere. And then the Kydex holster is from Silent Arm Concealment. I love this holster. Great retention. I've been holding up amazing. No problem with the uh, belt things or anything coming loose ever. They just good quality holster by Silent Arm Concealment. Moving on to the backpack. Now, this is like, I think, confused about a lot of people. Like, alright, so I'm not a guy that really is going to walk around with this thing. It's usually always in my car. It's always close by. You know what I mean? Um, it's, yeah, if I'm like going somewhere where I have to go hiking, yeah, it's my hiking bag for sure. But like, if I'm going to the mall, I'm not strapping this thing on my back. Like, hey, you know? Like, hey, I'm the Fonzie of bags. No. Nah. Stays in the car. If I feel like I need to lock it up, I use the pack safe, which is back here. Let me grab it. The pack safe is awesome. This thing is basically. Ooh. A little springy. There you go. Basically, a giant wire bag. You put your bag in it, lock it up in the trunk, and uh, they can't steal your bag. If it's somewhere like I'm going to a venue, like a hockey game, an event, sports venue, or something like that, and I gotta put my gun, lock it up, I'll lock it up in this bag because some of this stuff locks up. And then I'll put it in this thing, and then lock that in my trunk. And, uh, yeah, good luck getting that out of the trunk. Most grab-and-go people aren't going to look in your trunk. I mean, you know, unless they're professional thieves and they're, like, literally prepared for all that. And they have a bag like this. But if you have stuff like this, you're probably not out robbing cars. So, that's just my take on that. So, might as well go up top since it's open. Now, this is mainly set up for magazines. This is, uh, let's, let's go down here. You got your mags. I got your stock Glock one. Plus one Tyrant Tactical. And a plus one Hive. And then you got some medical stuff up here. Just some random gauze. Matches. Tape. Flattened out tape. The Neo Mag Pocket Thing in case I want to carry an extra mag in my pocket, then I have that ability. I usually don't because I don't get in gunfights as often as you think, so I don't really need to have an extra mag on me. Like, actually, most times I'm just carrying this 
Doc Mag in here, not even a plus one. It's just easier to conceal, and it's more light. Up in this little area here, you'll notice a little wolf pup action. Can't get no good lighting on it. Some tops. Kydex holster. He just hides out in there. I have a K-bar I got recently, but I don't ever carry it. I hate the holster for it. I still always carry my ZT0808, which is in my jeans pocket. Over here you'll see a little water bottle holster. Keep a bottle of whatever in there if you want. Then I just slipped the extra cord in the little pocket there. Some medication stuff, safe keys, stuff like that. Uh, pens, you got your zebra, sharpie markers. Over here, in the front, is my dump. Like, I'll just dump whatever random stuff's in there for the day that I've been using. Uh, beard brush. Recycled firefighter notepad, right in the rain. Notepad. I mean holder, fire, recycle firefighter notepad holder, and right in the rain notepad, Fisher Space Pen. I have a video on this, I believe, too, somewhere. And then usually whatever else throughout the day. There's usually hand sanitizer in there, but it ran out. So I've got to put that in there. Uh, in this pouch, I keep a lot of like more survival stuff, so you're gonna have some maps in here, statewide and citywide. Tied to go pen, which is always good to have when you're going out. If you're out for the night, which I'm bringing my car, so I have my bag in my car. In this area here, I'll keep your N95 masks, just in case. This is where. It's like if stuff just starts to go bad. <laughs> uh, Sawyer water filter. On hikes I'll use that. Sometimes I'll run out of water and I just want to play around with the Sawyer water filter and I'll just go down the lake, fill up my water and drink it through that straw. Because you can do that. really it for this pouch. Oh no, it's not actually. Because here's the molly sticks that are in there. And therefore, in case I need to strap these bad boys to it. Chem light. And magnesium scraper. Little fire scrapers. Make fire. Very important. So this is more like your survival pouch. Going into your main compartment, which would be this area, which is designed to be a sling, and so it's like basically in front of you, and you can just kind of get what you need to get out of it. But I have these pouches in here. It gets pretty heavy up top here with all the mags and stuff, and then in this first opening, I keep the toiletries. Toothpaste, uh, hand wipes, condoms in there somewhere, stuff like that. I think the condoms are a very overlooked thing in a man's EDC bag. And a woman's. Back in this one, I wish this was a zipper van quest if you make the try. 20 Gen 3, that needs to be a zipper and it needs to be both sides. So this doesn't happen. Like the zipper needs to be here and here. Alright, thank you. Uh, and this, I keep a, the sorted bag 
zip tied, modified to the. What do I have it? I have it zip tied to the little hook thing that hangs there. <laughs> All right, and that's uh, my little makeshift way to keep that stored in my backpack. This is the medical thing I was talking about. This is just a boo boo kit. You know, just the stuff for splinters, scissors, tape, uh, neosporin, new skin, uh, gauze, bunch of band-aids, alcohol wipes, uh, burn, bug bite stuff, all that kind of stuff like that. Aspirin, Tylenol. <clears throat> um, what do we have? And here there's a um, CPR mask. Then in this thing is my like daily essentials pouch. Like a lot of times, like if I'm going to work or whatever, or I'll just kind of have this thing with me. If I'm you know going on a trip with a truck or whatever like that, I'll always bring this because it has a lot of different tools and stuff I would need for an emergency. Uh, you know, if I'm on the road or just any kind of in general thing, even shit. That's my freaking anchor. This thing's tough as nails though, so expect that it ain't break. Well, let's check anyway. Yep. And this thing is awesome, by the way. This is the Anchor Charger. And not only is it a charger like for, you know, you could just plug it in, it's also a wall plug. So, it's very handy. I use it a lot, especially my old phone. And, uh, pens razor blade, sunscreen, a backup multi-tool, word it lock key set. I have actually another pick set in my wallet too. Um, pry bar. So a lot of entry stuff there. Um, and that's for survival stuff. And then I have a tourniquet. Like I always like to have a tourniquet. There's also one in my car. Crescent wrench, uh, super glue, multi tool tools. Uh, there's an extra battery down there, double A for my lamp, headlamp, and for uh, my flashlight, my one on my keychain too. And then in here, I just have more. In the back zipper, I have more medical stuff. And this is because of the one that's going to be inside of work. So I keep a lot of stuff that I would use. At the workplace in there, neosporin, a lot of, lot of alcohol pads, and diarrhea pills, uh, burn stuff for welding, you know, alcohol pads because I, I work on a lot of dirty stuff, cut your hands a lot, cut your fingers a lot, busted knuckles. Not like I like to like, oh, I got a boo-boo, but, you know, sometimes you cut yourself pretty bad, especially when you're working on a freaking huge Mack truck 18-wheeler. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that's my little daily essentials pouch, and this thing's awesome, it's by VanQuest, it's called the EDCM Huge. This is Max Edition, and also, so is this one, both Max Editions, which I like too, I just don't like their bags, I don't like their, I hate that advanced gear, whatever, that stuff, ugly. And their, their bags are, it's designed where it's like you have to use the bag, like you can't, I don't know, maybe you don't. They just look weird to me. But that's my opinion. I like VanQuest, and I like BDS Tactical, and I really like 511. I, I'm really thinking about getting a Rush bag. Really thinking about it. To make for a, um, like a straight 72 hour bag. Excuse me. like dehydrating. Back to this. Went over that. Here's a food area. There's nothing in there. I had a cookie in there, but I ate it. And that's it for your main compartment. Now, like in this area where there's kind of nothing there, I like to keep like a water bottle there sometimes because I don't usually use this one. 
um, unless I'm hiking or whatever. I'll just keep whatever there, like whatever I think I'll need for the day that I don't need at that time. So maybe like an extra shirt or, or, or maybe a thermal or something like that. Because a lot of times it'll be cold during the mornings now in Philly. And then like by 3.30 or whatever when I'm time to go, it's fucking 60 degrees out. It's been very weird. It's been very warm and then freezing at night and it's like the desert or something. But back here is I keep a beanie because it is winter time and it's starting to get a little chilly. So I like to keep a beanie. Then you have my Under Armour gloves. These things are sweet. I carry these all year round and these are batting gloves actually. And I don't like mechanic gloves because they just, I don't like them. i used been using mechanic gloves my whole life and they're just, they're too thick, all right? And they, they rip, they always rip. And I know, I've been buying them forever. These are nice and tight around your hands. You get a good purchase on your firearm. You can grab it easily, you can still use your fingers, you can, do stuff, batting gloves are the best. I was, <clears throat> and these are Under Armour. First year I actually went with Under Armour, I usually have Nikes. But I like the Under Armour because they have this real thin, I don't know, batting gloves guys. These are my gloves, I use them all the time. I use them, they're always in my EDC bag. And that's that. Heavy mil spec trash bag, very important for just whatever, and then you have a shamag. Also in here, I have zip ties, heavy duty ones, and regular ones. So basically I can, I'm set up, you know what I mean? I have gear and stuff that isn't even gear. Then I, oh, I have more zip ties. And these are called camo ties. I was, they're, they were fluorescent colored and then I spray bombed them with like black and made them camo. Patent. Patent pending. Then you basically will have your concealed carry area. Which is cool option in case you don't want to carry the, the firearm on you. And it stays there. It's not going anywhere. Because... It is on a holster that's velcroed to the inside of the bag with a plus two magazine. From Taron Tactical. And then I keep that at a nice little position there. I could grab it out of there if I need to. I it's this, this holster a lot of people like put it in there with the gun just like that. I don't like that. I keep it in the holster and then in there and uh, that's how I do it. So that's my that's my EDC stuff and my uh, my a lot of gear I'm probably going to carry throughout 2018. Um, if you guys are worried about being being safe out there every day, you know this is a this is a, it took me about a little while to get to this point. I've always been an EDC guy, I always like had a bag, but never to this extent. Like now my gear is getting, good. it's getting to be good stuff, it's stuff I use, it's practical stuff. I don't have a lot of redundanc redundancies, but you know, medical wise I do I guess, because that's you know kind of like the logical thing to do I guess, but other than that, I mean this is your perfect little setup, it works for me, uh, urban setup. You can see how this bag really... It's, it's starting to break in very well. I mean, it's a good top quality bag. I've had it for a year, all, just about now. I mean, it has no tears or rips. I mean, I beat the hell out of this thing. In and out of my car it goes. I mean, it, the bottom of it goes lands on concrete from putting it out of the car every day. Just, you know, it just it's just been taking a beating. And it's, uh, I got, I've been on hikes with it. Um, I love the wolf gray because of where I live, but if I was more wilderness, type guy I'd probably make it either like Coyote Brown or uh, even the Camouflage one. The Camouflage Camel? 
Tell all. Just kidding. Anyway, that's it. That's the video's over. So I might as well hit pause. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>